Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about GK flip-flop. This is the logic diagram of GK flip-flop. It has two inputs, J and K, and two outputs, Q and Q0, which are complements of each other. Q gives the normal value of bed stored in flip-flop, and Q0 gives the complement value of bed stored in the flip-flop. State of flip-flop is determined by the value of Q. Now, it consists of basic non flip-flop. These two gates, gate number 1 and gate number 2, right? They forms a basic non flip-flop. So, it consists of a basic non flip-flop and two AND gates. It is a refinement of RS flip-flop. In this, output of Q is connected to the input of gate 3. Other inputs of gate 3 are K and clock pulse CP. Output Q0 is connected to the input of gate 4. Other inputs of gate 4 are J and clock pulse CP. Output of 3. Output of gate 3 is connected to the input of gate 1 of basic not flip flop. And output of gate 4 is connected to the gate 2 of basic not flip flop. Here CP denotes the clock pulse. On the occurrence of clock pulse, flip flop will switch to clear state when present state Q is 1, right? And K equals to 1, right? So on the occurrence of clock pulse, when Q equals to 1, right, and K equals to 1, right, flip flop will switch to clear state. It means the next state will be 0. It is because in this case, output of gate 3 will be 1 and output of gate 4 will be 0. We have already studied when in basic non flip flop input of gate 1 is 1 and input of gate 2 is 0. The flip flop switches to clear state. right? So in this case JK flip flop will switch to clear state right similarly when q0 equals to 1 that is when q equals to 0 and j and clock pulse are equal to 1 so when q equals to 0 and j equals to 1 right the flip flop switch to set state it means the next state will be 1 and when q equals to 0 and j and k are also equals to 0 then on the occurrence of clock pulse the next state will be 0 When Q equals to 0, J equals to 0 and K equals to 1, the next state of the flip-flop on the occurrence of clock pulse will be 0. When Q equals to 1, J and K both are 0, right? Then on occurrence of clock pulse, next state will be 1. 
and when q equals to 1 j and k are also equal to 1 then on the occurrence of clock pulse next state will be 0 right it is the characteristic table of jk flip-flop notice that j and k flip-flop behaves as rs flip-flop except in a case when both inputs j and k are equal to 1 in rs flip-flop when both inputs r and s are equal to 1 next state is indeterminate because when both inputs r and s are equal to 1 both gates of basic not flip-flop of rs flip-flop have at least one input equal to one right but in case of jk flip-flop when both j and k are equal to one output of only one and gate will be one right uh, when both j and k are equal to 1 and q equals to 1 then the output of gate 3 will be 1 right and when uh, q equals to 0 and q not equals to 1 and uh, j and k are equals to 1 then output of gate 4 will be 1 so both nor gates 1 and 2 of basic flip-flop don't have input 1 simultaneously when both j and k are equal to 1 so when both inputs j and k are equal to 1 jk flip-flop doesn't reach in any indeterminate state when both j and k are equal to 1 next state will be the complement of present state see here here the present state is 0 and j and k both are equal to 1 so the next state will be 1 which is the complement of present state here present state is 1 and the value of j and k are 1 so the next state will be 0 which is the complement of present state inputs j and k of jk flip-flop behaves like s and r inputs of rs flip-flop to set and clear the flip-flop now this is the graphic symbol of jk flip-flop This is the characteristic table of GK flip-flop. Here Q is the present state of the flip-flop and QT plus 1 is the next state of the flip-flop. This is the characteristic equation of GK flip-flop which is obtained by getting the minimized Boolean function of QT plus 1 in terms of Q, J and K by using a three variable K-map. Thank you very much.